head to Dollar Tree and grab yourself some microfiber towels, some dishcloths, and some various other kitchen items like a scrubber, a spatula, a whisk, all kinds of different things that you can use in the kitchen. So I'm gonna take a bath towel first. This one I actually just got at Walmart because I needed a nice big one. And I'm just gonna roll it around as you see here and connect it at the end. So I did a tri-fold and then rolled it. Then I'm gonna take a bit of twine and I'm just gonna twine that together and attach it so that it doesn't come unrolled. This here I'm gonna be using in the center just to beef up this project a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a disposable cake platter sheet and I'm gonna put that underneath. And then I'm gonna take my dishcloths here, try fold them, and then I'm gonna layer them on top of each other, leaving just a bit of the end sticking out, I'd say just about three inches, and align them like you see here. And then I'm gonna grab them all together and I'm going to wrap them around my bath towel. So I'm just going to rearrange them here, wrapping them around so that they're nice and um, straight around the bath towel. And then I'm gonna take one more for around the back and place that around as well. Then I'm gonna take a nice big stretchy rubber band and I'm gonna wrap that around all the towels keeping them in place together. I'm going to take a microfiber towel here. I got this nice sage color, and then I'm going to wrap that around all the other towels and then securing it in place with another large stretchy rubber band. Then I'm gonna take a candle here and I'm gonna place it in the middle just to give it some structure, and then another candle on top. And then I'm gonna roll up some more of the smaller microfiber towels into these neat little sausage rolls, and I'm gonna secure them with an elastic and I'm gonna continue doing this until I have enough microfiber towels to go all around the base form here. Then I'm gonna take another decorative microfiber towel, wrap that around these, and secure that as well with a rubber band. After I've done that, I'm just gonna take my last microfiber towel and I'm gonna do a tri-fold and then I'm gonna roll it up, leaving the center kind of open. So you see I can stick my hand in there and I'm gonna secure this one with twine. And then I'm gonna place it on top and then I'm gonna take all the kitchen tools that I bought and I'm gonna slide them down inside and as well adding some other things like sponges, can openers, scissors, and the scrub brush. To cover the elastics that are going around, I'm just gonna use this pretty ribbon and attach that at the back. And what I have here is a fun kitchen accessory cake. This is a perfect gift for like a bridal shower or a housewarming gift. Anyone who's just starting out, maybe somebody going away for college, just a few fun necessities that they may need and it makes just a creative fun gift for that person. I really hope that you enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for tuning into Home Talk, and we'll see you on another video. The first step is to cut this shoe box um, about a third of it off. So this is like a Rock Revival um, shoe box, and you can see like the other piece is missing. Well, I've already kind of done some things to dress it up. And this part that we're cutting right now is going to be the top kind of buggy part of the stroller. So we're gonna make it look nicer by covering it in wrapping paper. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and we are gonna wrap this in wrapping paper. You could also use fabric, but I just decided wrapping paper was gonna press down nicely and be the easiest. So you guys, I'd love to know too, if you were making this, what colors would you do? I am choosing to do green because um, I just thought it was like gender neutral. You know, if you do green, it's perfect for a baby shower where the mama doesn't know if she's having a boy or a girl. And the thing is, is it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it to look um, mostly covered so that the, <clears throat> the box isn't showing, like the original shoe box is kind of hidden. And now what we are going to do is we are going to roll some of these diapers because a lot of the decoration around this stroller just involves us doing this easy little roll, taking a strip of um, the wrapping paper. <clears throat> and I'm just using hot glue because that's the easiest, but you could also um, use tape, whatever you want to do, and getting that secured on there. So you can see, 
that these are all of the ones that I rolled, see? And what I'm doing is I'm gonna just hot glue them along the entire perimeter of the box that I wrapped. So this one I didn't cut, this is fully intact, and I just wrapped that all in wrapping paper. So now we're gonna take the diaper roll that we did, add another big glob of hot glue, but you're putting the hot glue only on the wrapping paper, not on the diaper. Okay, so you can see I just laid some flat diapers in here, just as like a little bed. Now we're gonna take this part that we wrapped up before, this cut part, and we're gonna put it in here, like the top of the buggy. Okay, that's looking really good, a lot more like a stroller. Now let's make the wheels. This time we're gonna roll five, and we are gonna use a rubber band to hold them together because I didn't want to secure each individually. Okay, so we have three rolled together, and I'm going to put this on here. So you can see I'm just rolling them, and then I'm putting five together in a circular formation. Okay, now we're gonna take our leftover wrapping paper and we're gonna cut a strip to cover up that rubber band just cause that looks um, a little bit nicer, a little more cohesive with the rest of the stroller. There we go, and we're just gonna cut off the excess. So we have four of these and I'm going to throw some hot glue on the top of this too. Remember, always add the hot glue um, not to the diaper, but to the wrapping paper itself. Oh, you know what? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Whoopsie. The wheels go like this. And I think what I might do is I might just balance them up right now. Okay, now to make the top look more like a buggy, I'm going to actually open up two diapers and spread them across the top. Oh, that's so cute. And I actually really love the Mickey Mouse diapers. Um, I think that it looks good with any theme and it's really iconic. Yeah, that is <laughs> so funny and cute. And then I like to add um, just a couple bows on it too to make it a little more festive. But this time I'm gonna be using tape, um, just some clear tape because I don't wanna put hot glue on the diapers themselves. So we'll put one there on the top where the seam of those diapers meet to make them look more cohesive. And then one maybe in the front, looks good. And I think I'm gonna put some diapers back there too, back in there too, um, to kind of fill up the stroller. There you go, it's as easy as that. So this display can be used to collect cards, maybe on the bed of the stroller at your next baby shower that you host. Be sure to share this or even just pin it so that you can recreate this in the future. Thanks so much for tuning in with me, Melissa, from Welcome to the Woods on Home Talk tonight. We'll see you again next time.